Anyway, here we are, day... Hell, I don't know what we're up to, day three or four of this project. Anyway, we're just gonna set up our freezer super box. Freezer super box? Anyway, I don't know what we're gonna call that. We're gonna put the, we're gonna make that the super box and this is gonna be the breeding box. So we thought we'd better take the plastic lining off the front of the freezer. And um, mind you, you wouldn't even need a fridger at the minute. It's all sunny, it's like the sun's out, but it's about minus two. <laughs> it's gonna be a lovely day here eventually. It's usually a good day when it's cold in the morning. Anyway, we're just gonna pull the door off, pull the lining out of that, cut a hole through the front, stick our queen excluder on that. And I think I'm gonna put a, some sort of cover over it as well so the girls don't worry about going in there until I want them to. Go and get some rubber stuff and fix this seal up. So by the time we get to where we're headed, that'll be glued back together. Magic rubber glue. This will stick anything to anything, apparently. It's even had to store it in the fridge so it wouldn't go off. So it's in my dog food fridge. Hopefully, this will seal up and the ladies will be all nice and warm and toady. Be near little toasters. They'll be sitting around the table having a few sherries or maybe a few champagnes if they're they maybe they'll be having champagnes in this upmarket box <laughs> be like upmarket bees all the all the neighbors will be going look at you look at you you've got a bloody fridge that you're in you're only in an old wooden box how did that happen oh well you know we have beverly hills bees <laughs> or maybe it could be the other way around they might be they might be down in the gutter might be down in the ghetto no, that's going to be a bad reference. <laughs> now I reckon if I do that and then I shut it, and then hopefully if I haven't got shit all over this, it's open again. <laughs> Otherwise we'll be in all sorts of trouble. Don't we? We'll have our door shut, we'll have our door glued shut, and then we'll have nothing. What was that movie? Eyes wide shut. We'll have, instead of that, we'll have doors glued shut. <laughs> hey, I don't think that'd sell in Hollywood, would it? <laughs> Anyway, we'll take our liner off. Look at that, there was a bee there trying to get in already. We'll cut a hole through there, and then we'll put a, but we'll put a, like, a baffle plate in there so they can't get in, and then um, when I get to that point, I'm gonna hang some frames across the top here, and we could have a whole big slab that we could cut off, and hopefully by the time we get to this being full and that being full, we'll have ourselves a honey press extractor, and we can just drop it into that and and squeeze it out and we'll be, oh hell, we'll be proper old school then. So we'll have old school fridge honey in a press. <laughs> That'd be different. Kind of getting to life this drill the wife borrowed of me. Or actually I borrowed off her. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Let's see what we can get done. So if we actually got that box full of honey, there'd be a fair bit in there. That'd be pretty groovy, wouldn't it? What would we call that? We'd have to call that freezer honey from these angry girls. <laughs> they're, they're, they're a little bit, they're a little bit cranky, the ones we're gonna put in here. They're out of the kitchen. Or out of the kitchen cupboard, because I figure they're sideways bees already. <laughs> so well, hopefully, hopefully they'll know what they're doing. So I was doing a two o'clock rumble around in bed as you do when you're my age. So I don't sleep proper anymore. You way to think about way too much stuff. And I thought, oh, well, if the whole top bar beehive thing doesn't work, these will make an awesome gas chamber for when you get, if you get infected wax moth stuff, you could put them in there and kill the little moths off. So that might have sort of serve a double purpose, this project. You hang the frames in there and gas them and then kill the little worms off and then you can put, the, put them back in. Right, now, let's see. Now that we know that this has all got to go back on there, we might do that. Well, that's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> oh, there's a good laid plan going to crap. You never know, sometimes the best idea, I'm sure I would be thinking when Thomas, was it Thomas Edison with the light bulb? When he said, I'm gonna get a bit of wire and stick it in a vacuum and gonna make an electric light. I wonder what the, you know, the dudes with the kerosene burning candle thing would have gone, Thomas, it's just not going to happen, dude. <laughs> so who knows where the fridge might end up? I'm just thinking about the entrance between our main box and our super box. 
I don't think I can call it a super box, can I? But our freezer end, where the honey's going to be, I was just trying to think about the transition. And I was going to cut it with my trusty, with my trusty multiplex tool, which I use for just about everything. And I thought we could just cut through there and have a square hole and just so the girls can come through, put a queen excluder on it or something. Now I'm just thinking between the fridge and the freezer part, it's going to be all foam and crap. So we might go and get ourselves a hole saw and just drill some holes and then we can use a bit of PVC pipe or something to seal it off. So then hopefully the wax moth and the hive beetles and all those hairy little critters cannot make such a mess. But, yeah, it might be a stupid idea too. So we'll give ourselves a little, a little pilot hole so we know where we are, just in case our hole saw doesn't make it all the way through that little bit. It might, but it might not, so. Should we get really excited and actually measure something? Should we, now, this is a very good question. Should we put the hole at the top? Right at the bottom, in the middle. I don't know, I hadn't thought that far through that until just then. I think maybe we'll put it towards the top. Because by the time they fill all that up, they can run over the lip and run into here. So if we put, I reckon we'll put two holes at the top. And, ah, well, anyway. Shit, what's the worst thing that can happen? <laughs> Patented fridge door holder upper post. Which is a little bit dangerous. At least we didn't stick the rubber to the fridge, so that's a good start. That's looking pretty good. If I don't, if I fail at being a um, top bar fridge beehive maker, maybe I could be a fridge repairman and glue people's bottom seals back together. That would work. Hopefully there's not too many wires and shit in between. <laughs> so I don't think that's real thick tin. Here we go, eh? So we'll go in here and we'll drill ourselves a hole and... Wow, that's a bit rickety. Oh shit, don't get that excited. This bloody thing is a little bit greedy. You just have to be a bit gentle with this particular design. I think it's nearly flat. I think the battery's flat. <laughs> Hang on, there's a... No, it's not. It's got bars going on. Maybe it's just not liking me. Maybe it's a safety thing so you can't rip your arm off. This is only the plastic. <laughs> I think we might have to actually get the real drill for the last bit. But what we might do is we might... We might do the plastic bit with this funny little drill, but it makes me be a bit gentle. <laughs> and then we'll get the metal drill, get the serious drill and come through the other bit, I reckon. Yeah, we're making a mess if nothing else, aren't we? <sighs> we'll get the Fonz really drill and get the other tin, I reckon. It's going to really suck if we go after all this effort and we put the gals in here and they all die. That's going to be ordinary, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you shit <laughs> How stupid is that? Get a bang. I'm going to, I don't know what's going on with that. cheerleader song be 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 aggressive i think this is a bit bloody aggressive <laughs> goodness me oh my goodness oh well anyway one down oh my goodness get out the first hole's nice and smooth the second hole we got a little bit rough so this is the little joining pipe this is my idea is to actually have this so as if the ladies ever get to the point where they want to put some honey in the freezer, then they'll have a nice sealed little pipe to run through. We'll put a clean excluder on the inside of the box. I'm going to put a baffle plate in here for a start so that they don't even go in here, but long term, when they get to that point, they'll be able to run through the pipe and deposit their honey stores in the freezer and then we can rip them out of there without disturbing anybody. How cool would that be? 
<laughs> is this friendly? That's because you've got these cool little ultra thin blades now. It's like a spyglass from old. <laughs> what was that? Land ahoy! It'll be like honey ahoy! <laughs> anyway, so we get really excited and cut it on an angle so I can seal it all up pretty. Probably should, shouldn't I? I wonder if it should stick out a bit. Actually, that's probably a better idea. Have it flush in there and sticking out this side a bit, and then we can silicon around it a bit. But it doesn't matter, otherwise we're not going to be able to seal the edge properly, are we? Because this part of the box is going to be a traditional top bar hive with no actual frames. It's just going to have the bars and they can build it down there and then we'll lift the bar out with the honey and all the comb and... Like I said, we'll get a honey press maybe later on. That'll be a while away, so we've got a bit of time to order that. If you are um, happen to be doing this in tech class, perhaps you don't use the angle grinder to cut the pipe. Perhaps you get a nice bit of saw and you just cut it gently with the saw. It's just that I can't be stuffed walking into the shed to get the saw. So, just the thought. Don't have an argument with your tech teacher if she says, or he says, this is a little bit dangerous. Because it probably is. <laughs> That's a slack way to cut pipe, isn't it? Not even too bad, it's almost square-ish. Hang on, almost roundish. Yeah. You like my granddad jumper? That's pretty cool, isn't it? I found it in the cupboard and I thought, whoa, look at me, I'm already ahead of the game. I got the jumper to go. <laughs> what we should do is we should actually put, just get a rag and stuff in the hole. You reckon, or something? To pull that out. Now, listen you. Bloody bro, old bloody bush bee man. I think maybe we've got she got to have it flush. So as if I'm going to put the queen excluder on here, it's going to have to have somewhere to sit to, isn't it? Otherwise, that could get rather complicated. Then a bloke would have to make another box to put the clean excluder on. Having said that, you could probably just nail it to an old B frame, couldn't you? And just stick that to the wall, and there you are. Hey presto! But that might be a bit rough. No! Hell, decisions, decisions. I think we'll just make it flush. I reckon that'll be the easiest option. So that means we have to cut them again. Bah, humbug. Is the ghost of Christmas past, would say, wasn't it? Was that the ghost of Christmas past that said that? Or was that just the man himself? Old Scrooge. I knew someone said it. Yeah, go around that. Oh, a ball one. Hopefully we'll have enough silicon to fix this bit up. But anyway, they sell more at the shop. It'd be like icing a cake, isn't it? <laughs> Just skin away with it. That's about all the gap filler we've got, so it's going to have to be good. <laughs> reasonably invested now so we might just cut up an old little queen excluder and pop on the edge what's that 20 bucks isn't it for one of them <laughs> madman <laughs> what's about an eight framer 120 will be heaps I reckon Do you reckon we can cut in a straight line? I think this is the point of no return. You start cutting up queen excluders, you're a bit committed. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. That was almost straight. <laughs> Maybe, sort of. Ooh, did a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. We'll just drop into home hardware and get ourselves some more gap filler. And we'll slap that on there and we'll be all good. Now the only last thing we need to figure out is how we're going to block the hole off. Are we going to 
Are we just going to stick a bit of wood on the opposite side and then we can pop it off later? Or are we going to stuff a rag in the pipe hole? We're going to find a big cork. <laughs> be one serious cork, wouldn't it? <sighs> well, this has been a bit of an exercise in madness. So, I don't know, we're probably up to episode 550 by now, but we're going to load this silly bloody fridge up, stick it on the trailer, take it out to the property. I'm not sure if this is all run back to back or whether we've edited other bits and pieces in so you didn't get completely lost. So perhaps you might have to go back to episode 309 where we started this madness. <laughs>